Hey guys, I'm gonna jump right into the video by asking you, do you think Floyd Mayweather is ruining his legacy? Now, obviously he has pro one of the best careers you could ask for in boxing. He started training before he could literally walk because of his dad. His dad would hold him up, let him hit the speed bag from one, maybe two years old. He went on to become the youngest world champion at the time in boxing at 21 years old. He went on to have legendary fights with Canelo Alvarez, Manny Pacquiao, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Ricky Hatton, Sugar Shane Mosley, and the list goes on and on and on and on, including several other Hall of Famers and Hall of Fame level guys. And he made his career off of having people hate him so much to where they just had to watch every single one of his fights in the hopes that someone, anyone, would shut him up, beat him, knock him out. And nobody could. Nobody could. Got out 50-0 and 0 and made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions in the process. So I ask you this. Because there are some people who do believe he's tarnishing his legacy at this point. Because he's coming back, he's having only exhibition matches. I remember after he retired, after the McGregor fight, he, I want to say, then after had a, a boxing exhibition in Taiwan against a guy over there. I forget the name of him, but he beat him. You know, and then there's obviously the Logan Paul fight, and there may be a couple other exhibitions that I don't know about. I mean, he just had an exhibition over the weekend that I only heard about like maybe two days prior to the actual boxing match. And in that exhibition, he got rocked. One of the very few times in his career he's actually been clipped. He ended up winning the fight, though. Some people think that the other guy was paid to take a dive, though. And this is kind of what's leading to some people having the opinion that he is ruining his legacy in comparison to other uh, boxers. I don't think he's ruined his legacy yet. I think, you know, obviously he looked kind of bad when he got clipped over the weekend. Even though he won the, the match, he still, there was a moment of weakness in there. Uh, and it kind of seems like he's regressing. You know, he is getting up into his 40s. Um, I don't know exactly how old he is at the moment. But the man is uh, old enough to retire. You know, probably should retire at this part point. Although he did just come out and announce that he will no longer be facing actual fighters or former fighters uh and that instead he'll be facing celebrities and star like internet stars and stuff like that some people think you know he's only doing it for the money because he spends a lot of money you know and other people i think he's doing it just for the love of the sport but either way regardless it's still he had a moment of weakness in it and obviously you know he kind of looked a little bit bad whenever people were saying, oh, you didn't beat Logan Paul because you went to decision with him. Because a lot of people were just saying, if you let him go to decision, he pretty much wins. But in the real world, that's not how it works. I don't remember what the result of that match was. I didn't really care for it. Um, I didn't watch it. I just heard the result. But... I also heard the backlash from it, and it seems that a lot of people are kind of switching over to this, maybe you're ruining your legacy uh, mindset for Floyd, and I don't know. I think maybe he should be done with boxing in general, exhibition or not, um, he should probably just be done with it. I don't think his legacy is ruined, but... I think it can get there. It can get there. As with anybody's legacy. So, hit like, subscribe. Hope you all liked it. And peace out.